Hey guys, welcome back to Blake's Garage. It's another hot and humid day here in southeast Texas. We're going to be uh, working on the buggy again. We're going to have some auxiliary lighting, some off-road lighting, to give us a little bit of help whenever we're out and about after dark. Off-roading with the uh, lifted golf cart. So we're going to get to it. So what we're going to be installing is a couple of these six LED off-road lights. Pretty popular nowadays with the ATVs and side-by-sides. We're going to be installing it here on the front of this bash bar that comes on the cart. And I've already put some tape on there so I can try to line up the holes and make everything look pretty. So uh, we're going to mark it up, get our holes drilled. All right, so we got the holes drilled up. I didn't really get any video of that. I don't have any way to hold the camera um, and work with both hands at the same time. So uh, just have to use your imagination. But they're in there. So we're going to mount up the brackets now. All right, so we got the brackets mounted up there. Installing the lights here. The bolts that I had I thought were plenty long enough, aren't quite long enough. I don't have any lock washers on them. So I'll have to get some more bolts a little bit longer and redo the brackets, but I'm just going to get them put on for now. Uh, we have a little golf cart parade for the 4th of July this afternoon, so I want them to look finished, even if they're not. So I'll get them mounted up, and then we'll see how they look. All right, so we got these mounted up. I'm going to go ahead and tuck the wires in to make them look finished. I'll get some new bolts and we'll run the cables to a toggle switch on another episode. But for now, these are done and they look awesome. Hello again everyone and welcome to Blake's Garage. Today is part two of the light pod installation on the golf cart. So we're going to be out here in hot and humid southeast Texas uh, sweating our butt off. Here we go. So I've got the pods mounted up with the proper bolts. They're all lined up and straight. I've got the wires ran through the, the de bumper here and uh, ready to create the wiring harness that's going to run up into the dash, connect to my distribution panel, and I'll mount a toggle switch up here on this panel to turn them on and off. Let's get started. All right, so the plan is we're going to wire these lights in series. So I'm going to connect the two lights together with this butt connector here. And then I'll wire up the ends to use these spade connectors here to my wire that I bought that will run to the dash. So it'll be a quick and simple wire harness. Only have to run one set of wire instead of two. And Google says that you can wire them in series, so they should work. Let's see. All right, so we got the butt connectors connected. We got the spades put on. All of the heat shrink is shrunk down. I went ahead and alternated the spades just to make sure that you can't connect it up backwards. I'll just have to be sure to connect the wiring harness the same way. So now I'm going to measure out the wire, make sure I can reach the dash, cut it off, and I'll put the ends on that and we'll finish it up. Alright, so we reached our first major hurdle in this install. See, I want to put the toggle switch in this panel here. But this panel is riveted on. You can't access it from the bottom because there's some sort of a shelf or something on the back of it so I'm gonna to have to drill these rivets out and then replace them with some bolts that I can take on and off regularly to access this panel it's a little intimidating because I've never done this before but hopefully it goes smoothly we'll see what happens alright so that went smoother than anticipated I went ahead and drilled out the rivets and the shelf I was talking about is this it makes it impossible to reach from the bottom but it's hard mounted to the dash so I can't take it out so I'll mount my switch in there and then use some small nuts and bolts to uh, put the panel back on I can reach to these holes it's difficult but it can be done so I'll re-secure it with some nuts and bolts cool it worked all right, so we got the toggle switch mounted up, got the hole drilled, everything set up. I figured out which way is up, which way is or which way is on and off, and got it set up to where up is on, since there's no marker plate for this switch. So now I'm going to get the uh, wiring harness set up, and the wires ran to the right place, and we'll connect it up. All right, we're in the home stretch now, so all I've got to do is put these ring connectors on the ends of these two wires and I've got to put them on the end of this jumper wire that will go from the switch location up there to the distribution panel. Once I get that done I can remount my plate 
with my brand new toggle switch and we will be done with this project. All right, so we got the switch mounted up. I have not connected the panel yet. We got it mounted up, we got it wired here. I did have a little bit of a setback. I did a dry fire of the lights, just connecting them to the post here and I did not get any light. So I guess Google was wrong. You cannot connect LED light pods in series. You have to connect them parallel. So I had to redo that under the cart. Didn't take very long, just frustrating. But I got it all set up here. I got this set up here and we have light and they work. So I'm going to reconnect the panel, button up and label the distribution panel, and then I can go in the house in the air conditioner and have something to drink. Get back with you soon. All right, so we got the panel mounted up. I'm not really in love with the way these screws come out. It's just really tight back there. I may come up with something else in the future. Once I'm sure I'm not gonna open this back up again, I may just re-rivet it. But I also got the distribution panel labeled Got the cover back on it, tuck it down in there so we can put the cup holders back in. And this job is complete. Everything works the way it should. I won't be able to test them until this evening when it gets dark. So I'll post some pictures or some video then. All right, so that finishes up this segment of the golf cart, adding the off-road lights. Just wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me here in the garage. Y'all be safe, have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll see you next time.